now we are going to discuss the section of solid example and solid that we are going to cut is a pentagonal pyramid so here is the condition given for resting of pyramid and second condition is given for the cutting plane so the statement is a pentagonal pyramid base 30 mm side and axis 50 mm long as its base on HP and the base edge near to the VP parallel to it. So in this pentagonal pyramid, it is resting on HP and one of its base edge is parallel to VP. So as per given condition, first of all, we are going to rest the pyramid on HP. So I am opening polygon command. So in term number of sides as five. Then click on H. Now click on HP that is below XY line and move the cursor and take the position that is required. So, this is the position of the pentagonal pyramid. So, here add the base side as 30. Enter. So, in this way, we draw the pyramid in which this H, this base H, is parallel to BP. Now we add the nomenclature. So open the text command. So this is point one, two, three, four, and five. Now as it is pyramid, so all corners are connected with center. So connect them. So these are nothing but the inclined edges of pyramid. Give name to the center as detext. So here the name to the center given is O. Now here we can see the pyramid, pentagonal pyramid, where it have five base edges. That is one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, and five one, and five inclined edges that are nothing but O one, O two, O three, O four, and O five. Now we take the projections from each point. So projector of one, projector of four. This is projector of 2. This is projector of O and 5. And this one is projector of 3. Now make these projection lines faint. Now height of pyramid is 50 mm. So from center point, I'm going to draw a line of 50 mm. And now I'm going to connect it. Also connect all points with a fix. Now give the nomenclature. So detect. So this is point one dash. This one is point two dash. This one is point five dash. This is three dash. And this one is four dash. This is apex O. Okay. Now we can check the visibility. So observer is observing this object from this end. So when observer is observing object from this end, this O2, O3 and 2, 3, as well as 1, 2 and 3, 4, these are not visible. But as this 1, 2, 3, 4 and 2, 3, all are behind this base. So there is no need to show separate dotted line over here. But for this O2 and O3, these are the inclined lines and these are not visible. visible. So here we are going to use the dotted line. 
So now I'm going to load the line type. This dot dash, this dash line. Okay. Now select this line number two and three and show its visibility that this line is not visible over here. Okay. So in this way, we draw the pentagonal pyramid. Now we can give the dimensions. So this dimension should be 30. And this height should be 50. Now in order to show the height, we should draw one line from here like this. And here we drop a perpendicular and we measure distance of this line. So align distance between these two points. So it is 50. Make this line faint. So in this way, we show the base length as well as axis length. Now, after placing this pyramid next thing is that we have to check the cutting plane condition so a vertical section plane inclined at 45 degree to vp so angle made by the cutting plane is with vp so definitely it is visible in hp cuts the pyramid at a distance of 6 mm from the axis okay. so first we need to mark the point at distance 6 mm from axis so we can see the axis in a front view this O5 dash behind this line, there is axis. So from here, I am going to measure 6 mm distance like this in this direction, in the right side direction. 6 enter, and from here, I am going to drop a perpendicular line like this. So this distance is 6 mm. I'm going to select this line. I'm going to make this line faint. Now this 6 mm distance line cuts O3, O4, 3, 2, 3, okay, 5, 4, all these edges. So I'm going to select the cutting point on this O4. So I'm going to mark a point over here. Change the point style. You just zoom in and check whether the same point is marked. Okay. When you check this distance, this will again come as a 6 mm. So this is the point which we are interested in. And from this point, we have to pass the cutting plane at an angle of 45 degree. Okay. So now I'm going to draw a line I'm going to open line command. Then I'm opening this dynamic mode. I'm closing the ortho mode. Click over here. And you can add any distance. Like now I'm going to add distance as 70, 71 tab and angle as 45 enter so this is the line inclined at 45 degree you just cross check it so it is the angle made by line with vertical plane okay. now extend this line so below trim there is extend option so just click on the line and it will extend you can check it it will extend like this Okay, now we are going to mark the cutting points. So it, this cutting plane cuts 3, 4 over here. O4, we already marked the point. O5, this is the cutting point. And 1, 5, this one is the cutting point. Now make all these cutting points as well as cutting line. Select all these cutting points and line and convert it into red color. Also, show this distance also in a red color. All things related with the cutting plane should be represented in red color. Okay, so take care of that. Now we give the nomenclature to the cutting points. So this point cut at 1, 5. 
so we call it as a open the text command so this is point a this o for you is point b this one is o4 at is at is point c and this 3 4 is point d select these names okay and select color as red okay, so these four are the cutting points four edges are cut by the cutting plane and we have shown the cutting point now we are going to transfer the points on a respect to edges in a front view okay so on o15 we have point a so take a projection from point a on edge 15 so this is the point immediately make this projector faint open color red and mark point so this is point a in a front view similarly we can get point on edge o4 directly so first we mark that so i can take a projection from this point c just zoom it select that point only okay and transfer it on o4 so i draw the projection line mark point on this o4 line similarly next point is d transfer it on 3 4 immediately mark a point now make this projectors faint and trim unwanted part of the projector like this okay. so we get point a point b and point c as far as this point b is considered okay you can see that this o for you okay, this o for you is exactly above this o for you dash okay. so it is difficult to transfer this point b directly so now we are going to transfer this point on nearby edge that is on edge o1 and from here we are going to transfer the point on the front view of o1 that is on o1 dash and from here we transfer it on o5 dash so now i am going to open circle command I take O as a center and this B point as a radius. So this is the circle that I draw. And from here, I'm going to drop a perpendicular. It cuts O1 dash somewhere over here. And from here, I'm going to transfer the point on this O5 dash. So this is the position of point B in a front view. We just mark a point over here. Now make these projection lines and this circle faint. Now trim unwanted part of the extension line, projection line. Okay. So here you can check that this B point is transferred on this O1. And from here we transfer this point in a front view of o1 that is on o1 dash and from here we take the horizontal line and we transfer the point on o5 dash now we give the nomenclature to the points so open dt command so this is point a in a front view this one is point b this one is point c and this one is point d now connect these points by using polyline so a b c and d now open hatch Select NC 31. 
and hatch the pattern inside. And zoom it. Now check the hatching is done. Close hatch creation. Now here, okay. So entire hatching is done. So this is the front view after passing the cutting plane through a point at a distance 6 mm from axis. And that cutting plane makes an angle 45. Now we are going to draw true shape of this cutting section. Okay, so now select this plane, cutting plane, along with the points and nomenclature. Open copy command. Select any reference point, move it like this. Then select this entire line along with nomenclature, open rotate command, specify start point. This is the base point, then click on reference, first reference, second reference, and angle of rotation is zero. Now first check the distance between the two points. This point A and D, so it is 40. And now take the projections. So this is projector of A. It meets projector of A over here. Then this is projector of D. This one is projector of B. And this one is projector of C. Now take projection of B and projection of C. Now select this. Make projection line faint. Now mark the points. This is A, B. C and D and connect the points by using polyline. Now trim unwanted part of the projection lines. Give the nomenclature. This is point A. This one is B, this one is C, and this one is D. Now go to hatch. Now show the dimensions of new dimensions of the line. So this is 41, and this one is nine any one dimension is sufficient okay you just make sure that same point is selected okay so this is the complete solution of the problem so i just zoom fit it so now you can see that this length is 40 this distance between cd is 41 and uh, this is the entire solution of the problem. Okay. Thank you.